name himself Zero. This is what he tells me every time. He's gonna name himself Zero, but then like Zero is like really good. So he's like, I don't want to do that. So he turned the Z sideways, and now it's an N, and it's Nero. Okay. True story. True See, story. I gotta go. <laughs> no, that's what he tells me every time. But uh, Ryu could go on Corrin. Yeah. Two remains. Um. How do you think this match is played? Because I have no clue. Uh, well, we're gonna learn. I think like maybe Pikachu. Might, okay. Pikachu's gonna want to keep his distance from Corrin at least from is what Corrin can do. Yeah, Pikachu's gotta pick uh, their Pikachu, spots. Just like Instapin, like Instapin. If Pikachu plays grounded, it seems like Pikachu's gonna get Instapin a lot. Yeah. Like, there's not many disjointed grounded options Pikachu has, but a lot of aerials are from Pikachu. Actually, just like two, uh, forward air and up air are disjointed. Goes for the ledge trump. I don't know what he's gonna do off a of ledge trump at this percent. Yeah, just get get a bear or something. Yeah. But I think he just held the stage control because now he's in disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is with Pikachu and disadvantage is like, you don't, you don't feel it as hard just because you have quick attack. But the platform's all the way on the other side right now. So yeah, he has to just go on stage. If he had the platform to help him out, it might have been a little better. Right. But, oh! Um, he missed the instant pin. That's weird. It's, ra it's pretty rare. Although maybe he didn't want to go for the instant pin since how close Pikachu was to him. So he tried, he canceled it and he just got hit for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like once you do instant pin, like corn will like hop up a bit. And that's after you hit B, like you have to slide your like finger from B to A to do it. Yeah. And so I he just didn't hit A, and so it's like, it's kind of easy to cancel. It is, yeah, it is. But, but Nero, Nero's getting hit by a lot of the instant pins, which is how yeah, he died he off is. that stock. So and he got hit by another one there. Instant pins are really good move. Yeah, he's really good. I don't exactly know what Pikachu has to do to probably play use quick attack more and play more uh, in the air instead of on the ground. Well, if you use quick attack. I mean, I, I guess you can get in more, but even crossing corn up that side B, you can just do, you can press the other way. Yeah, but it's like if you're in the air, like it's better if you could possibly just get hit by like the the kick, like the swing mm. from the it's the pin and not the actual pin and take the full damage. I mean, it's better, but it's still not. Yeah, but it's I like mean, yeah. it's better than just playing grounded. Oh, that's nice. Upper to, upper to, you know, thunder. Because you're just going to keep on getting hit by instant pin, like, back and back to back if you play aerial or, I mean, if you play grounded. Or is it going to put so much shield pressure on you that your shield's going to be really low, and if you get caught again by instant pin, it's going to break. Yeah. But, uh, Nero finding the stock finally, which is going to be hard in this matchup, just because, like, Ryuga's really good at not dying. I mean, honestly. yeah, it's true, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure if... Ryuga keeps on instant pinning, like as much as he is. Uh, if when he's at kill percent, if he does do it, uh, Nero can easily read like the movement habits that he's doing because he's always been going to the right. It seems and not to the left. But oh, the okay. counter. That is good that Ryuga actually like, saved it. I mean, yeah, he, he sure did. didn't kill, but I mean, uh, Nero's been thunder jolting the whole entire uh, game, and Ryuga didn't counter it at all. Like, he literally no, saved he it because it's smart. Like you'll notice a habit someone has, and you'll wait until they're on the last stock. At kill percent, yeah. so you can punish him to win the game, because it's better to do that than like oh punish him at the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. Even know. though it wouldn't have killed or it w and it didn't even hit, it still like puts the thought in Nero's head that might happen. Right. So. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure if he went for it, it could have killed. Like what Nero was at like 50. Yeah, so it was. It was, uh, 50. was just a counter thunder jolt. I, yeah. I don't know. It's not that strong. It is really strong. Also, see a side B. I'm pretty sure uh, Ryuga can counter that if Nero's not careful. Yeah, but the thing is, I thought I think uh, Cor oh, there's it again. I think Ryuga's been trying to cover the quick attack because he's been using like a lot of bigger hitboxes to try to cover it. Right. Um, so the side B is you know, just a little mix up. Ooh, that ball is so big. Sometimes it's hard to air dodge uh, through. Yeah, he's gonna have to pick an shot. option there. So the thing is, White Ranger instant pin. Oh yeah. Yeah, I traded with Thunder Jolt. If you instant pin, you have to pick an option within, I think, what is it, two seconds? Um, it's something like that. Like, you can, if you instant pin, you always can jump away. You can just jump up if yeah, you, instead you of going left or right. Mm -hmm. So, it comes out a mix up at that point. But yeah. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen Ryuga do it. So, Nero's going to, can, he can pick up on maybe some sort of habit, especially if he right. keeps going towards him. Like he can actually up smash it or dash tag. Because Nero's always been getting hit by instant pin. That's why he hasn't been, that's why Ryuga has been jumping up, because. Like, why am I going to jump up when I already have caught an instant pin and I can just get another, like, 10% off the kick? I just like the Ryuga's tag. I don't really get it. It's probably from anime or something. Yeah. Well, look nine. at Ryuga just staring at the screen. 
Look at him. Oh, no, he look, he's looking over. All right. Now he's, yeah, okay, for you. Uh, right. <laughs> Gucci said something. Now Lowe's coaching him a little bit. Lowe's a great coach, by the way. He's because he's just because he's really smart about yeah. like, just the game in general. But, I mean, Ryuga played that game one pretty solidly. Lila, okay. Uh, mm. Probably banned triplats. Yeah. I have a feeling I'd it's triplats. But, um, see, I wish I knew a bit more about Korn so I can, like, like oh, Korn does this on Lila or whatever. So I can be well, more insightful, but it's like. What, what I remember Ryuga doing is he'll instant pin on the platforms and, like, you can swing in weird ways. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's like common sense about like the platforms on Lilac and the tilts and how uh, Corrin can utilize side B, but it's like, what actual benefits does Corrin get other than that? that well, like, did you see that Nair covered the entire platform when Nair yeah. was trying to land? Yeah, uh, pretty but, good. but like, Nair can, can Nair cover like Dreamland's platforms too? Yeah, should be. Yeah, able it's to. a really, it's just joint itself. Uh, it's just really good. It comes on both sides. But the thing is, this is Nero's counter pick just for the quick attack. Yeah, stuff. the quick can. The quick attack. Cancel. The quack. The quack cancel. The quack cancel. cancel the quack. Mm. Maybe like since it covers the platform, it makes sense. Nero is gonna try to quick attack play for uh, quick attack cancel. Maybe oh. Nero will catch him every time. Yeah, that's no, oh, true. He just low profiled the grab. He did. But and then um, he got a like, grab of himself. Oh, he's got his up. He should be good. Nero needs to be what canceled. The careful heck? of the uh, the dragon shot because um, like if Corin Corin can like. Shoot a little, a tiny uh, neutral B, and if you hold B again, like if you hit B and like go and hit B again, that means you can charge the actual dragon fang, right? And it'll make it stronger. So I mean, he can shoot a little one and put him in a hit stun for the big one, the, the the claw to come out to hit him. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's a great conversion. Yeah, it is. It can turn into 50/50s. Like you can do like nair or something, and then you can jump up with them. If they air dodge, you can hit them with you just the fang. Yeah, because they'll yeah. air dodge through the uh, the neutral B. And they'll just get by the thing. I, I actually love seeing that from Ryuga. It's just like a, such a solid read. Was it? If you go watch his set against uh, Six WX at uh, I think it was Alphax. Yeah, I saw it live. It was great. Yeah, he's uh, he's doing it that to him. Well, it's at fifteen percent. Yeah, but the tilt's on Lila just like not able allowing uh, the rest of the move to connect. Right. Thirty-eight already. Nero's got to find the kill. This is what we said he would struggle with. And there's the Dragon Fang we were also mentioning earlier. Right. Uh, just trying to snipe him out. Yeah, cover him to jump up high. Oh! Again, but the thing is, Nero knows to just jump away. Cause you, yeah. That's all you really need to do. Because Corn can get, can't get a follow up after that. So. Exactly. Because he's too far away. Too far. Too high percent in rage. And Corn's kind of slow. Yeah. Oh, Dropping I like there. the idea. Yeah. And but I also like. Do you see Ryuga tilt his shield to pretend he was gonna move? Yeah. That was nice. Up air? Mm. Right, Nero's so getting desperate. Yeah, I mean, it's Pikachu at high percent. There's really not much Pikachu can do. It's He's going to look for a dash attack. Dash attack or, like, hopefully get a grab at the ledge and do a back throw. Back throw, yeah. Back throw. Yeah, that works. Oh, and Nair yeah. catches his jump onto the platform and nears him as soon as he lands. Not being able to shield in time. Yeah, out of the platform. Oh. Which would be the counter coming out again. The thing is, if he actually um, upbeat back on the stage, which Nero has done, uh, he would have oh. just gotten him and killed him. I see why uh, he's uh, countering the uh, the thunder jolts now, mm. since uh, it's putting Nero in the position to where Nero wants to punish it. But if he does approach, it has that like hitbox around it, and Nero will still get hit by it. Yeah. And it's like it's huge. Like, exactly, it's a huge hitbox. And so Rigo's like, okay, if you don't try to come punish this. Oh, it. there's the shark. Not able that. to get it. Nero. But with a weird face. It's like, if you don't try to punish it, I'm safe. If you do try to punish it, it's going to be really hard for you. And see, yeah. it has no lag, really. Yeah, it pretty much has no lag. We just saw the forward air. One of and he just, yeah, and he just held shield after the forward air. So it's oh. like, there's really not much you can do about it. And like, Ryuga's been rolling back a lot of the time after the counters, but you don't want to like... Run up and get hit by the counter. No, no, no well, well, I'm after saying the after the counter. Ends. Yeah, and he, oh. Ryuga's been rolling. Oh, yeah, he ends up in that see? time. See, that was a great mix up. Yeah, he probably conditioned him to thinking that he was going to roll back. Yeah. And then he just gets the, condi the conditioning, man. Plus, no harm, no foul. Like, you're at 22, whatever. Just throw something out. Yeah, exactly.